This is Ryan from GameRoomSolutions.com and today I'm going to show the HD Home Run Prime um, running Cox Cable via cable card into my XBMC box. So uh, real quick here just to show the add-on uh, in the PVR clients. This is running Gotham uh, configure. Just to show you guys this, once you set your Myth, uh, Myth TV box up that'll do the um, you know, live TV and also your recording DVR stuff. You'll just put that information in here, the IP address, the port, username and password. Uh, we have all these setup guides on our website, gameroomsolutions.com. But to show you this, because most of the stuff I see on YouTube is like foreign stuff, so you don't know if it's really right or working or not working, but it actually works really well. So <clears throat> if I go to live TV, I can go down to TV channels. And it will pull the current list of TV channels up here. So you can see here I can page it. Sorry, just to show you here. I'm using that, but you can see all my local stations only cable. So if I want to watch football here and just hit OK. Takes it a second or so to load up the channel. So you can see there, it's playing it live. All I have to do if I want to is I can just hit back, back out completely. Um, push the back button. There's also a program guide that comes from the Myth TV down. So you can see this would be the same as your cable box. So the advantage of doing this, I'm still paying obviously for cable and everything else, but <clears throat> the big advantage to this is I already have XBMC boxes on all of my TVs in the house. So instead of having to pay the 8, 10, 15, 20 bucks a month, whatever it is for their DVR service, I'm essentially using my own. And I'm only paying, I think, $2 a month to rent the cable card. Uh, so to show you here, to we'll switch over to game. It'll pull up the information of that show. You can hit switch. It'll be just like changing channels. You can set up your recordings. Everything's in HD. It looks just as good as when I had the cable box. I don't notice any difference. So again, you can back out. It'll continue to play in the um, background as you're doing other things. So you can see that. So now, um, if I push OK on the show, it'll pull up this uh, menu guide. If I want it to, go back out. So I can go over here, and I can do the program guide. If I do it here, it'll show me everything that's coming on this channel, CBS or whatever, for the rest of the day. Or I can hit the little TV screen here, and this is just a quick way to switch channels, see what's on. So if I back out of that. Uh, the other thing is obviously the recordings for the DVR stuff. So I have a folder set up. You can do all the normal DVR functions too, like pausing live TV and all that, but you can see here. So here's some of the stuff that's recorded. And if you go in, it'll look just... You know, it'll tell you what about the episode, all that kind of stuff. Um, just real quick, most people have seen XPMC, but obviously I have movies, so these are on my local NAS upstairs. So as you get on through, you can see the TV still running in the background. If I'd want to switch to one of these, of course you can hit info. It'll pull up the information. I can play the trailer from YouTube or whatever. Uh, these are my local TV shows as opposed to the ones that were actually recorded. So I can come down through here, you know, whatever. Uh, pick one. This will pull up all the seasons. And then, of course, the same thing as far as the episodes. So that's the main setup on that. The one other thing I will show is just on a, you can do this from a web browser or a phone or or whatever you can hit your myth TV server and I'll zoom in on this phone it might take it a second to uh, oh, let me uh, do it where the landscape for us but you can see here this is the best way to go into uh, the program guide and this is just in a web browser you just hit the IP uh, in the myth TV web so in here you can come in and set up your shows to record so I'll, uh, let me find just like a show. So Man-Eating Super Squid. 
So that'll pull up there and then I can actually set all my recordings here. So I can record it on any channel. That's typically what you'll want to do. And then you can come in here and click new episode right here. If you just want the new episode, it'll also auto flag commercials if you want it to. So if you check that, it'll automatically pull the commercials out when it's doing the post processing. And then you'll just hit update recording. You can also come in here and see what upcoming recordings you have going. So this is what's coming on tonight. And then for the rest of the week, you know, again, as you set it up, it'll auto do everything. So it's a different way to watch TV as opposed to just using the cable box all the time. You just get on here, set up all your recordings ahead of time. It'll automatically do it. Uh, you can hit record on the program guide on the screen. Uh, but again, I'm saving about, for how many TVs I have, I'm saving about 55 bucks a month. The HD Home Run Prime has three tuners in it. So that means I can record three things, record two things, and watch one thing, or watch three things at one time, which the way that we all watch TV now, it doesn't matter, because most people's watching stuff that's DVR'd. They barely, rarely are watching commercials and everything on something live, except, of course, sports, usually. So anyways, uh, the setup guides on how to do all of this is on our website, GameRoomSolutions.com. If you have any questions, just send us a note, and we'll help you out. Thanks.